Hey there, my name is Chase Murphy and I am a senior ConnectWise consultant at Proval Tech. And today I wanted to go over a little bit about data views with you today and uh, hopefully show you why those are useful to you. So let's get into it. Uh, so first off, data views are really just pre-populated SQL queries that you can make on the back end of Automate to help you pull up data that you need to see. Um, an example of this that we use quite often um, is, we'll have to go into data views, which is under automation data views. Once that loads up, um, there's a data view we'd like to show off called agent search. It's a pretty basic one, but it just shows all the machines and basically you know, the default data that's displayed in the data view. Um, in this case, the names, asset tags, uh, you know, what operating system it on, what the OS version is, is it online or offline, and some other, other metrics. Um, there are a lot of columns you can actually add into data views typically. Uh, there's a column chooser here, and from there you can add in any of these fields into your data view to display more data. Uh, there is quite a bit of them, uh, especially in a lot of the default data views in Automate. Um, so one thing that I'm going to add in just for our example here is just the IP address just to make it simple. Um, you can also remove columns that you don't want by simply right clicking on them and removing the columns. Um, one thing that we get all the time from our partners is I need a data view that shows me X, Y, or Z. Um, lately, a lot of our partners over the last year have wanted to know how many Windows 7 machines they have left. Um, so one example of how to do that is you can actually use these columns along the top here and use them to filter things in the environment. So the agent operating system column has which uh, operating system every machine has. So all you'd really need to do is you can do a quick wildcard search using the percent symbols or wrapping your search in percent symbols and search for Windows 7. Hit the search button up here and you'll find only your Windows 7 device. So you've essentially created a data view that'll work. However, we use the agent search data view and you wanna be able to pull this up again in the future. So what you can do for that is go to options, save data view as, call it something uh, nifty that you won't forget. In this case, Windows 7 machines, pretty easy. Go ahead and save it, hit enter or hit okay. And then uh, one thing that, that is a gotcha here that you gotta watch out for is this is going to stay on the same data view even if you saved it. So the best practice is to hit the clear button to set the data view that you just built back to stock. Then you can close out of your data view, refresh your screen, and you'll be able to see the new data view that you made. Once you launch into that, that is going to be your new data view with the right data that you want inside of there. Um, another example we get quite often is clients want to know which machines have which pieces of software. Um, you can obviously build that in a search quite easily, but it is nice to be able to do that directly inside of a data view. Um, so another example of that is you can pull up the full software listing. This is going to list every device that you have access to and what is installed on them. Um, so you know, let's say we just needed to do a quick uh, Google Chrome. We could just search for Google Chrome and we'd say, okay, here's the machines that have Google Chrome, options, save data view as machines with Google Chrome and then hit OK. We want to hit clear once again to clear all that out. Once the data view is refreshed, we can close the window and refresh our listing and now we have our new data view that'll show us just machines with Google Chrome. Um, you can take this data, you can export it right out to Excel very easily. Um, you could add in more columns here if you uh, want to work on your new data view. You know, let's say you were looking for the uninstall strings. Excellent, add it in. You can shift this data around so it makes sense to you, and then you can work on getting it exported. So that's just a quick tip on how to use data views. Uh, so thank you for watching. We're going to try to post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate.